location where a second grader in Maryland was eating his Pop-Tart the wrong way. And the teacher came up and said, hey, you bit that Pop-Tart into the shape of a gun. And I don't know, I, I don't really keep tabs on how I eat my Pop-Tarts. But the teacher said, hey, we have to turn you in. And now they put this on the child's permanent record. Uh, something very idiotic. Uh, we've seen people freak out about bubble guns and kids get suspended for playing with toy guns in their own front yards. And now they're saying you can't even eat your food the way you want it to. Or if the teacher sees something in your food, now you're a potential threat and you need to be sent to the principal's office. So hopefully they can get this thing dropped from this child's permanent record. And something that just dropped my jaw, uh, cops advise store lockdown in response to Star Wars Stormtrooper. A business owner and a second man mistook the plastic gun the stormtrooper was carrying for an AK-47 and called police. The police advised the owner to lock down his business despite the fact open carry is legal in Salina. This is a situation that happened in Kansas. So um, I don't know what type of gun this guy was actually holding, what type of gun he was holding. Assuming he was carrying the standard stormtrooper blaster, it looks nothing like an AK-47 at all. I mean, are they going to start sending SWAT teams to Comic-Con to arrest those stormtroopers? It's completely ridiculous, but they have sent out SWAT teams for much less people with raw milk and cheese. Well, that's it for this segment, but stay tuned because after this break, you'll get to hear from the South Texas ranchers talk about the illegal immigration influx in their own words. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose for a limited time we are offering 15 percent off super male vitality at infowarslife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality infowarslife.com Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. Today I'd like to talk about the war on women. You've experienced and heard about the benefits of super male vitality. Now, the new formula has arrived. Introducing the new super female vitality. I have specifically designed this formula to help the body naturally regulate itself without the use of artificial hormones. Key ingredients chosen from the highest quality sources. Each of these ingredients works synergistically with the female body in order to maximize overall vitality. You've heard the reviews and the feedback on how the original super male vitality has revitalized relationships. Now, both the man and the woman can have the revitalization in their own bodies with super male vitality and super female vitality. Secure your super female vitality today from our limited stock at InfoWarsLife.com. These cities just above the U.S.-Mexico border don't receive any federal funding. The law-abiding, land-owning residents of towns such as Falfurious, Texas are overrun by a tsunami of illegals as a result of what's called the funnel effect. The militarization of the border, which includes checkpoints, barriers, and security technology, diverts the human smuggling operations into treacherous, searing, and rugged terrain that delivers many illegal aliens to their deaths. And ranch owners and Texas border volunteer founders Mike and Linda Vickers contending with the outcome. What they are about to tell you may cause alarm because America isn't simply being invaded by countries south of its border. It is increasingly being invaded by countries from all over the world. Can you speak about your organization and explain where some of your volunteers come from and who they are? They, actually, we even have a, a lot of out-of-staters, uh, Nebraska, 
Massachusetts, uh, North Carolina, Oklahoma, many from Florida. Uh, part of our mission is to enforce or help assist Border Patrol and other law enforcement entities out here. We uh, will post out on these heavily trafficked areas and uh, report uh, specific numbers to Border Patrol, specific locations, uh, and they have learned that uh, uh, we're a big help. We're like extra eyes and ears out here. Um, we also, a big part of our mission is awareness and uh, we do many speaking engagements to uh, let people know exactly what's going on out here and what we're seeing uh, despite what others say in high political offices that the border is safe, uh, these border towns are safe. It is not. Our ranch gate is 69 miles north of the bridge in Hidalgo that goes into uh, Rionoso, Mexico. A little over a day's walk? Well, actually, most of these people don't walk 69 miles. They all pay a criminal organization, mainly the cartels, uh, big money to be brought up here and let out uh, south of this Border Patrol checkpoint, four and a half miles south of our ranch on U.S. Highway 281. So. They're all contributing to organized crime by paying large sums of money to be brought in here. And to give you an example, uh, the Chinese are paying 50000 the Indians are paying ten to 20000 all the Central Americans, the average is about 7000 So, and the Mexicans, uh, uh, especially Southern Mexico, are paying 3000 So, it's a huge, huge... Uh, money event for the cartels, uh, probably even more lucrative than the drug business. What percentage are you seeing uh, from places other than South and Central America? The Border Patrol and Homeland Security categorize the people that are not from Mexico as other than Mexicans. And uh, prior to last night, uh, they were it was running about 73 percent of the people apprehended in the Rio Grande Valley or OTMs other than Mexican. A um, lot of Central Americans, but really from all over the, the world. And uh, we were informed last night that that number has escalated to 80 percent. So, uh, and this is this is a fact. So most of the people that we encounter here, a uh, larger percentage of them are people from other other countries other than Mexico. And we're not told about the special interest aliens. Uh, we have had Somalians here once they got on that special. Uh, uh, alien list, uh, they won't tell us that anymore, but there have been S Somalians, India, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Chinese, uh, you name it, we've had it here. <laughs> we've also uh, uh, found evidence that people from these uh, special interest countries, in particular Pakistan and Afghanistan, Iran, um, uh, are coming through our property. Uh, during one of our Texas border volunteer operations last year, uh, we had a group of 10 uh, we spotted, uh, we followed them, uh, informed the Border Patrol where they were going to come out on the highway. Border Patrol were not able to respond fast enough. They got, they climbed the fence and uh, uh, loaded up and, and left and uh, were, were not caught. But as one of them was uh, climbing over the fence, he dropped uh, a package. And that package uh, was an Urdu dictionary. Urdu is a language uh, spoken in uh, Pakistan and Afghanistan. And in that uh, uh, translation book, Urdu and English, there were a lot of phrases circled and outlined. Do you speak Spanish? Do you speak English? You must pay in dollars. So we know that uh, special interest countries, in particular countries like Pakistan or Afghanistan that are not particularly friendly with our country, are slipping through here under the disguise of and under the uh, all this other uh, activity that's going on where these families are giving up and, and the Border Patrol uh, resources are being compromised. So it's, it's easier for them to slip through this private property. And uh, that's just one example. And uh, more recently, uh, uh, within the past two weeks, some Iranian money was found in a bailout vehicle. So we know they're coming in here. Besides that Iranian money being found in a bailout vehicle up here, uh, four Syrians, which is not, you know, public news yet, but four Syrians were apprehended on the Rio Grande River uh, a couple days ago. We're never divulged the special interest aliens. 
but I think it's time America gets alarmed. Uh, they are, they've already come through here. It's us as the humanitarian crisis, yeah. and it's an OTM crisis. It, it just take out the factor of the women and children. It's an other than Mexican crisis right now. We're you know, being invaded by third world country people, and in those third world country people are the special interest aliens. And it, 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 our bor borders are porous. They, they feel like they're wide open right now, and that, that's a dangerous scenario. But I did discover, and I think this is laid out very clearly in the blog, uh, that uh, among the, the human trafficking going on in Belize uh, is a large number of Lebanese males coming into the country with passports uh, from Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, Afghanistan, uh, and are given brand new identities, brand new names, and using handlers handled off ultimately into America with a very dangerous package. Now that surprised me, that shocked me. Please join us tomorrow as we delve into the range of diseases making their way up from the Mexican-U.S. border. For InfoWars Nightly News, I'm John Bowne. Well, that's it for this edition of the InfoWars Nightly News. Be sure to stop by prisonplanet.tv and get yourself a 15-day free trial. The Alex Jones Show, the Nightly News, the Special Reports, the Rants, and so much more at prisonplanet.tv. I'm Jakari Jackson, and we'll see you again tomorrow night.